Hello, everybody. Uh, this is a physics problem. I have a box on a table, and there is a force pushing the box. The magnitude is 100 Newton, and the direction is pointing below the horizontal by an angle of 60 degrees. This is the diagram of the situation. Seven kg box on a table, applied force 100 Newton, 60 degree. Coefficient of friction is given one static coefficient of friction, another one kinetic coefficient of friction. The question is asking what is the acceleration horizontally? We understand if it moves, it must be horizontal motion. Let's start with a free body diagram. I have a force of gravity, which is mass times acceleration due to gravity. So it's 7 times 9.8. Applied force, 100 Newton. I resolve the applied force into x component and y component. The, the x component is 100 times cosine 60 degree. The y component is 100 times sine cosine 60 degree. Cosine 60 is 1 half, so the x component is 50. Sine 60 degree is root 3 over 2, so the vertical component is 50 times root 3. I also have a normal force. The normal force is a force exerted by the table on the box. It is vertically upward and it is perpendicular to the surface of the table. That's why we call it normal force. This vertical normal force and all the other vertical forces should balance each other to give a resultant vertical force zero. This is because the box is not moving vertically. 
So the summation of vertical forces must be zero. The normal force is equal to the force of gravity and the vertical component of the applied force. There is also a friction force. The friction force is equal to the coefficient of friction multiplied the normal force. Now there is a choice because the question gives us two coefficients of friction. One is static, the other one is kinetic. Which one do we use? Let's use the static friction force first. Therefore, the force of friction is equal to 0 0.4 times the normal force. The result? Let's use the calculator to do it. The result is 62. 62 Newton. That's the friction force. Let's see what is the applied force in the horizontal direction. The applied force horizontal component is 50. But the friction force is 62. The applied force is less than the friction force. Therefore, there is no horizontal motion. The acceleration should be zero. The acceleration is zero, no motion. So that's the end of the problem. But we can continue to ask a question. The kinetic coefficient of friction is given. Can we discuss the problem using the kinetic coefficient of friction? Now, the difference between static friction and kinetic friction is that when the body is not moving, then the friction force is given by the static force of friction. In this case, it's 62 Newton. When the body is moving, then the friction force is reduced. It is given by the kinetic coefficient of friction multiplied the normal force. If we like to discuss this question using kinetic coefficient of friction, the box must be moving. How can the box be moving? You have to push it. You have to start the box to move. Then consider the values of various 
forces. So let's do that. You push it a little bit. Let it start moving. When it starts moving, the friction force is 0.3 multiplied the normal force instead of 0.4 multiplied the normal force. Uh, let me erase a corner. Let's do kinetic coefficient of friction times the normal force. Force of friction is equal to 0 0.3 times the normal force. This is when it is already moving, when box is moving. Then the friction force is, you change this to 0 0.3 and multiply the square bracket, then what do you get? Use the calculator, you get 45.5. Ah, now you see this force is less than the applied horizontal force. So it keeps moving. It keeps moving. Then under this condition, you can find the acceleration. The acceleration is the net force divided by mass. The net force is 50 minus 45 decimal 5 divided by 7 and use the calculator to get the result. So you have the acceleration. 0 0.64 meters per second square. So this means under the given condition, if the box is at rest, even if you push it, it won't move because the static friction is more than the horizontal component of the applied force. However, if you just give it a slight push to start the box moving, then it will con continue moving with the acceleration 0 0.64. So you need to discuss the question in two different conditions. That's all. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. We'll see you next time.